Let's do it the normal way, Marie. <laughs> oh, but you're the queen of the list. Yeah, oh, right. You sorry. Yeah, so you get to go first. Okay. That's why I was following your lead this time. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. My name's Elizabeth Little. I'm Daniel Little. And I'm Marie Little. We are siblings living on Vancouver Island. Uh, we have a podcast called Missing in Canada. And a soon-to-be podcast called... Uh, Bramble on. Bramble on, Canada. Yeah. Well, we don't know how soon. It's uh, <laughs> it's really work. hard to uh, even do as much as we're doing right now. Mm-hmm. But we would like to make a Bramble on podcast. Maybe we'll just do it casually from the start. Yeah, like mm-hmm. once a month or something to start with. That mm-hmm. way, at least we have the channel, and then ask if we gain any popularity or after I'm out of school. Once we have more time. Which is probably going to be the same with this. This is probably going to be mostly our road trips to visit, eh, to uh, interview a family of missing people like we just did during this video. We didn't actually capture the interview or um, the pre-trip on camera because we didn't think about doing a YouTube video until we were on our way home, but that's what this video coming up will be. Yeah, we started on our way back after the big rush. (laughs) We were rushing to get back to uh, the roadblock because we thought that we were at risk of being stuck there for an hour if we didn't get there soon enough, but turns out the person who told us that was wrong about the time. Completely. So we started just after that. Because we kept making jokes and laughing and thought, hey, maybe somebody else wants to see this. Maybe somebody else thinks we're funny. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the stuff is a little bit out of context because it wasn't, and because it was filmed after the, after it happened. Joking, yeah. So it probably isn't as funny as it would have been, but. Or as it was, it was to us. Yeah. <laughs> we hope yeah. you still think it's funny. A lot of jokes that have nothing to do with the podcasts that we do, but. We thought we were funny and thought you might enjoy a little more of us. And there's also some parts of the video that aren't aired a little bit out of context just because I had to edit out some of the uh, the stuff around of it eh, around it just because of audio, audio problems. Which and we like might have what again. What I hear right now sounds like an audio problem. Yeah. <laughs> A little My bit, vehicles. but not as bad as um, Marie's noisy car, uh, along with traffic, <laughs> plus rain on the roof of the car. Or when That's Elizabeth true. decided to open her window on our way home and it was loud. <laughs> well, your air conditioner broke. <laughs> That's true, it did. It was After it was we had that feet. whole conversation on the video, um, oh, yeah, I guess you guys that we didn't include stuff. the air conditioner in, the air conditioner broke, yeah. so that was fun. Luckily, I, mean, I was in the back seat, so I didn't exactly. really—it didn't really affect me at all. <laughs> so right. hot. Air well, the heat. Hot. Well, because <laughs> I, I was in the back seat, so I wasn't even really getting the cool air. Oh. So, it pretty much didn't do any difference for me. Yeah. But yeah, it wasn't really broken. It still worked, but it was leaking, so we figured I probably shouldn't use it. And there's a bee buzzing around on the street. Hey. No. <laughs> Don't fall in. Um, Be off with you. Oh, maybe this is a bad place to record. <laughs> uh, oh, do you yeah, want to talk about why we run. changed our uh, podcast name? I mean, our right. YouTube video name. Channel name? Yeah. So, on, well, both on our way to Tofino and back, we saw a beach called Secret Beach, except it had this giant ass sign that said secret beach on it so we were joking like i have a secret to tell you yeah (laughs) don't tell anyone (laughs) (laughs) so then we decided on the name the secret life of canadian podcasters and then a couple was it a couple weeks later a week later or something um elizabeth was editing the video and then she said that she needed the Missing in Canada YouTube uh, information, and I said, oh, are you going to upload it to Missing in Canada, or are you going to upload it to the Secret Life of Canadian Podcasters? And she said, oh, 
I guess I'll upload it to the Missing Life of Canadian Podcasters. Mm -hmm. And we decided we liked that because none of us really have that much of a life outside of our podcast and our children and our jobs. Yeah. And it it ties the missing in Canada to it. Yeah. So we decided on the Missing Life of Canadian Podcasters, which we quite like. Mm -hmm. So please enjoy the video. To tell the story about the pistachios. Yeah, <laughs> so we're currently following a camper van full of pistachios, <laughs> <laughs> just teeming with pistachios. And some lady gets out and like grabs the pistachios and brings it to somebody behind us. They didn't even stop to get us any. <laughs> they didn't even ask if we wanted any. I'll just add the context here. Just driving down the highway and so got over the fan. <laughs> we were stopped. Yeah. And I'm assuming that the person behind us was traveling with the person in front of us. But, but we still had to make a joke about it. But we still want pistachios. <laughs> so we're still telling the tr- van and we hope to catch some <laughs> We hope that their van door swings open and pistachios just fly. Oh wait. <laughs> I guess that wouldn't help us. Hey pistachio lady, if you're ever watching this video, please bring us pistachios. We live in Nanaimo. We need a P.O. Don't triangulate. Box. Oh yeah, right. Sorry. We need a P.O. box so people can send us stuff without knowing our address. Yes. Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. Set it up in Ladysmith so they get thrown off a little bit. <laughs> so you have to drive and get this stuff. But yeah, yeah, guys, send us unboxing stuff. We'll start. Oh, that's a good idea. We'll do an unboxing podcast. So uh. we don't have to see anything, but we have to describe it. <laughs> we should just do a Missing in Canada YouTube that's kind of like our Missing in Canada podcast, except we were a little more silly and um, unbox things that people will hopefully start sending us. Yeah. And on video. And we um, videotape our road trips if we go to meet people or just decide to do a road trip. Like what we're doing yeah, right now. Yeah, we do that. Although we're a little bit late now. We've uh, already talked to uh, Carol. We're yeah. on our way back from uh, Tofino at the moment. Yes, Carol is the aunt of Lisa Marie Young, who went missing from Nanaimo uh, 2002. 2002, so 17, 17 years ago, when she was 21 years old. Uh, so we talked to Carol, and now we are heading back to Port Alberni, where we're stop- going to stop and get some treats, and then we're going to head home. So we'll be there in about three hours. Yay! Great trip! Yay! And we stopped by the, uh, what was it called? The Harbor Front Cafe? No, Harbor oh. Front Pub. No. 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 There was the um, night. The Hatch. The Hatch. Yes. The, the Hatch, hatch Waterfront. Over us because, yeah, because 
Reed was eating a burger. Yeah. <laughs> One person in that car is eating a burger. Let's get them. I'm They're not hungry. For those two don't know. The people that don't have food in their hands must not be hungry either. By the way, I'm not like obsessed with the stash to get through. Holy shit. Calm down, motherfucker. This down. pickup truck oh, just went speeding down the highway. And oh he dropped God, a box. Oh my God, over the double line. Yeah, that was the second time he did that. He's weaving around. That guy's what the hell? Oh, this guy is in oh, a man. hurry. And we just passed Pistachio Van. Oh, no, he just did the same thing where he just weaved on the other I didn't realize the lane was ending. Pistachio Van. I you. thought we were still in two lanes. And then all of a sudden it crept up on me. And I had to dodge. Yes. Oh. But it's still, it, it, it is raining. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh. Update: It's raining. No. Yeah. No, that's coming from the vehicle in front of us, splattering back on us. <laughs> oh God, I forgot to change my windshield wipers. So actually, no, that's not true. I lost my windshield wipers. We bought new windshield wipers, and then it took so long to put them and replace them that we lost them. So, you don't have any so now my wipers are shit. And now your windshield is covered in smears. Yes. Yay! So if we stop for air for my tire, we should also wipe the windshield. <laughs> because my car is a 2005 and it's falling apart. <laughs> I mean, the engine is sound. I have no problems with the engine. Yeah, it's sound just is the right. muffler, the tire, <laughs> the muffler, the tire, the windshield wipers, and the clock radio, and the clock on my radio. And the radio itself isn't great. It seems old to me. But then again, this um, girl that I went to school with, um, she drove a, I think it was a 2015 Corolla. And um, it, it was really nice. It was a black Corolla and it had the sleek body that the newer Corollas have. And I complimented her on it and she said, oh, thanks. I thought it was old. I was like, <laughs> mine's a 2005. Mine is old. So I guess it's all depends on perspective. <laughs> I think my car is old. Other people think that a car isn't old unless it's like a 1990. And she thought her 2015 was old. Was it your, um, your Matrix in 2003? Yes, my Matrix was a two Matrix was a 2003. So I leveled up by two years when I got my Corolla. So this one's not old. It's slightly like newer. <laughs> yes, and my next car is going to be at least a 2010. So I'm going to level up by five. <laughs> I just level up my cars. <laughs> I have Marie, my... You can't skip levels. You gotta level up one at a time. No, I'm not getting a 2006. <laughs> so your your car is never any newer because it, each year you get a new yeah. car the next year. <laughs> yeah, so you have to level up by a couple years so that you're always driving a little bit. Okay, so first you start with a car that's 20 years old, then you go up to a car that's 19 years old. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, let's see, my Matrix was, uh, Matrix was 16 years old. 16 years old. Also, this car is four, 14 years old. Also, are you planning on switching cars every year? No. Based on that, does it Hopefully, my next car will be my last car for a while. I'm hoping that in October I can go down to Vancouver and find myself a decently priced, decently, a decent quality, 20 something, 2010 or hopefully a little bit newer hybrid vehicle and then I will stick with that for as long as it lets me. But I'm tired of this car and I don't want to dump any more money into it. Even though I've only owned it for like six months but I have also put 26,000 kilometers on it in the six months I've owned it. Yeah, that would be living out south of town. Yeah. Okay, I lied. It's been eight months that I've owned this car, but I just have to do some quick math. 26,000 since you owned it. Yes, 26,000 wow. kilometers in eight months. I had a friend who also lives out south and thought she drove a lot. And um, I asked her how many kilometers she put in on. She's put 9,000 kilometers on it in a year. 
I have put 26,000 kilometers on it in not eight months. Well, this morning, which is probably why it's so deteriorating. Sure. What? You could have cut kilometers this morning, though. Yeah. I noticed yeah. By I not have... missing the exit. Well, well, no, that was what I was referring. I was referring to before even leaving town. We went from my place downtown to that. Yeah. Up to the super city. Talking random shit, and we should call it Brambling On. I like that. And Daniel can be king of that. Actually, maybe. Oh, but this might be the first YouTube video for Brambling On. So. <laughs> I have this first with um, Secret Life of Canadian Podcasters. Oh, great. Right. So, the podcast that we do for fun could be Brambling On. Yes, and Daniel can be the king of that. Cool. Okay. So, so, Daniel's the king of Brambling On. I'm the queen of. The Secret Life of Canadian, Canadian Podcasters and Marie's Queen of Missing in Canada podcast. Yes. Alright, just so we got that settled. SLC for sure. And we were going to do introductions, but we just said all of our names in that, so. Okay, if you're still confused about who we are, I'm Elizabeth. I'm Marie. I'm Daniel. All the littles. Yeah. And if you haven't heard our podcast yet, it's called Missy in Canada. We do a a podcast episode every two weeks about a missing person in Canada. Um, We do strictly Canadian cases because I didn't like it that Canadians didn't get a lot of coverage overall with podcasts. There's a lot of podcast networks that have a lot of podcasts that do American cases or even specifically American missing people cases, but there's very few that focus on Canadian crime, um, or specifically Canadian missing people. 
and also Daniel London saying one year ago. Just over one year ago. And we yeah. told that entire story on um, one of our episodes called the Daniel first Story. Our first and our sixth episode. Yes. <laughs> our first and our sixth episode, yes. And it's raining again, by the way. Woo! Beautiful BC word. Changes weather patterns every five seconds. You see, we're sunny one minute and raining the next. Well, some I mean, to be fair, snowing. we're driving across the um, across the island, so yeah. it could still be beautiful in Tofino, and it's just raining in Port Alberni. But, but we are dressed for Tofino weather. We are not dressed for raining in Port Alberni weather. I mean, I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> I am not. Obviously. I knew it was supposed to be sunny in Tofino, so all I brought. I did not grab anything. I, I grabbed my car keys and my phone and my laptop. that we have not tried yet. And two squares of fudge because we are little pigs. <laughs> little sugar addicts. But I mean, how could you not? I swear we're not going to eat all of it on this single road trip. No. <laughs> we'll save some for home. Yeah, on we'll just the return that trip from the road trip. Yeah, we have like an hour. We cannot escape cars. Usually, <laughs> you don't see me glaring at the cars because we're usually only filming in audio medium. <laughs> but now I'm actually glaring at cars. We can um, see the anger in our faces. Yeah. <laughs> Good ice cream. It is delicious. I'm afraid if I show my face because I probably have ice cream on it. <laughs> Not yet. Not terribly. So you're just making them watch me. Yeah. We're fine. Turn it to me now. <laughs> <laughs> no. You like my faces. My faces. You have faces? Multiple. I am the many faces. The cookies and cream is delicious. I was the cherry one. Awesome. Oh, yes, I'm going to try it. <laughs> Sorry, let me put my phone up. <laughs> Sometimes mint ice cream is like, like some people do it really well, and then other people don't do it as well. So I'm always hesitant to stick it, but I don't want to ask her for a sample of literally every one of her ice creams, which I was tempted to do. <laughs> yeah. I remember being at one place, and they're like, limit of one sample. You can only sample one thing. Like, what the fuck? How am I supposed to know what I want? Just one thing and it sucks? Okay, well I'm not getting that, but there's still 12 <laughs> other fucking flavors. There's <laughs> so around. 12 other flavors, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying there's kids around because he said sucks? <laughs> yeah, that's the word she was wearing. Really <laughs> 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 yeah, it didn't matter, I'm hoping else was. I did. You did not hear that. Just <laughs> like so Yeah, I thought we already had decided that because, oh. like, two minutes into starting the video, I swore. <laughs> oh, Carol posted on her own page. Oh. Interview with Marie, Elizabeth, and Daniel for podcast, which will be she airing on August 2nd, 2019, on Lisa Marie's story. They have a page missing in Canada. <laughs> They drove from the Nyma to talk to me. Thank you all for doing stories on missing persons in Canada as it brings awareness and issues of families that go through. Oh, nice. And, and, and you, the Carol. Looks for, almost um, exactly the same as the one we talked for our. <laughs> the one that she took with her phone. It looks almost exactly the same as the one we took with our phone. We all, we all have a phone. We just have one phone that we share. <laughs> We have one we're phone and share. one car. We're siblings who share a podcast, a phone, and a car. And they Except we house. must have at least two 
long we have to keep that. Actually, one in my hand. Yeah, you're yeah. recording with a This phone. is an obvious lie because phone, phone, too. phone. This is also a phone. All right, we are almost home. We are passing the. Oh wait, maybe I shouldn't say that. What? <laughs> Don't triangulate. Don't triangulate. We're almost home, guys. We're back so, to town. We live in Thank town. you for joining us on our ride home today. Sorry we didn't bring you along for the uh, trip there. There was a lot of humor that you missed. Sorry, guys. Yeah. We'll be we, more careful. Thank you for joining us. We had lots of fun. Hopefully you did too. And we'll work on the audio. Let us know in the comments if you like this and you want to see more. Oh, and sorry about the open window. It was getting too hot in here. <laughs> if you have any feedback for us or any uh, any ideas for what to do with our future videos, please let us know in the comments. Yeah, that's where YouTube videos are easier than the podcast. You can't leave comments in the podcast comments. Yeah. Um, you can't comment on a podcast as easily as you can comment on a YouTube video. Or it's more difficult for us, the producers, to actually get access to the comments when it's a podcast. Yeah. Or like even, yeah, with the iTunes reviews, you can respond, right? No. Okay, so. So we can actually so respond to you in the comments. Yeah. So for our podcast, unless you go onto our Facebook page or Twitter or Instagram or something, you can't really understand what you're saying. You know, we can't really reply to you. So. Sorry about that. Please don't be a dick, though. No YouTube video is just great fodder for people going, oh, they're ugly. They're well, not funny at all. If you don't like us, you're not attracted to us, and you don't have to watch us. It's like a dick. No. No, I was gonna make if a I point sound though. a little bit funny, it's because I had uh, two teeth pulled, so I'm... Some words are hard for me to say. Can't make your jaw go in the right direction. Yeah, directions. I can't open my mouth enough for some things, and I might be poking at my teeth at some point because <laughs> it's just red mm. and it's hard not to poke at something when you have something you're not expecting in your mouth <laughs> not used, to, not used to in your mouth yeah i was gonna make a point when you were talking about um the secret beach thing you said that was like two or something weeks ago how long has it even been since we went on that trip i'm pretty sure that was only like two weeks ago <laughs> yeah probably this weekend this sunday it'll be two weeks yeah Alright, so yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Jesus, it's the middle of the well, day and I um, got a fucking mosquito bite at your house. <laughs> wow. Do you normally get them at different points in the day? Is it weird to get them at the middle of the day? Yeah. That's a nighttime thing. Really? Three? Evenings and nights. Mosquitoes when mosquitoes are. Come out at night. yeah. yeah, but they're not like bats, they come out all the time. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we kept recording this. <laughs> uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> please uh, subscribe or leave comments. I just did a stereotypical YouTube thing. Yeah. Please subscribe and leave well, your comments down below or on the side, depending on what device you're on. <laughs> we could be fancy and even go look at our next video whoosh, up here. And then do the weird thing where they. But put, we like, might a not have too. our next video yet. <laughs> okay, well, when they're watching this in six months, because you know, yeah, <laughs> there will be people that are new to our channel watching our first video, and we'll have other videos by that point. So, yes, if uh, if uh, you subscribe to our Patreon, Missing in Canada, then we will include extra YouTube clips, yes. as well as other Missing in Canada podcast content and eventually Patreon. Not <laughs> exclusive things. <laughs> eventually Bramble on, sorry. Yeah. Um, so I don't I don't think we need to make a separate Patreon for no. each channel. We'll do missing or uh, crime and sports style. <laughs> no, Stu. I love that scene. Crime and Miss Has Small Town Murder is a offshoot of crime and sports and they just refer people to their crime and sports Patreon. Okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you for watching our secret YouTube channel. Shh! Don't, Don't tell, tell anyone! anyone.